Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Voices Behind the Tech video series. In the set of videos, we're going to be talking to some of the team at Foundry about their careers and the roles and what they do here and what inspires them in their work every day. So today here with me, we have Anna, Joanna, and Perry, who are all leaders in the technology teams at Foundry. I think to kick us off, it'd be great to hear from each of you a little bit about you know, what you do at Foundry and your background. So Anna, can you, uh, how about you start us off? Hi, uh, my name is Anna. Um, I am a senior software engineer at Foundry working on the new core performance team. So I'm basically one of the people uh, trying to make Nuke run faster uh, for our customers. Um, I started my career as a junior software engineer back in Armenia, where I'm from, uh, where I held uh, lots of different roles um, from junior engineer to a uh, lead engineer and an engineering management positions. Uh, but I do enjoy all different aspects of the job and I do probably enjoy the technical aspect of the job the most. So uh, yeah, I ended up uh, now working at Foundry as a senior software engineer and discovering a very exciting new industry for me as I'm very new and it's been a really enjoying experience working here at Foundry. Excellent, it's been great having you on the team, Anna. Right, hey, Joanna, do you wanna go next? Yes, so hi, I'm Johanna. I'm working at Foundry as a senior research engineer in machine learning. So I'm on the research team here. Uh, a bit about me, I am initially from France. Uh, I love basketball and art. Um, I have a math and physics background and growing up, I always loved the media and entertainment industry. I always find it very interested. I always liked movies, games, animation, comics. And I knew I wanted to work in those areas, especially somewhere that would be a mix between art and science. So I geared my education towards that and I did two masters in computer graphics and uh, machine learning. And then for me, Foundry is my first uh, company job after university. I have been here for three years, first as a research engineer in machine learning and then as a senior research engineer in machine learning. And I have been participating in the evolution of our machine learning technology, including, for instance, um, the copycat nut that we released last year. Thank you, Joanna. And some of you watching this, you may recognize Joanna because she gave a fantastic presentation about the machine learning work being done on the research team at DigiPro a couple years ago. All right, Perry, how about you tell us about your background? Hello, I'm Perry. Um, I'm technology program manager at Foundry. Um, I've been here for three years and in the VFX industry for 10 years. Um, I started at Foundry working with the research team. Um, so working with Joanna on machine learning and working with the cloud team and the virtual production team. Um, but now in my role as technology program manager, I'm looking across the business at ways that we can work together um, and drive our technology in a more connected way. Thank you, Perry. It's great to have you here and in your new role, and especially as we look at projects like USD across all of Foundry's products. I think you have a great role in, in getting everyone connected on the same page. All right, thank you all. I think next it would be great to hear about um, what got you started um, on the career path that you're on. Quite different backgrounds, so I imagine some quite different journeys. Um, Perry, do you wanna take this one as well? Yeah, um, so I studied social anthropology at um, university, so um, not too many career opportunities as a budding social anthropologist, but I uh, kept my ear to the ground and heard about a job at DNEG, um, so that's really where I started my career. I had a few jobs before that as well, um, quite varied. Bra fitting was one of them, working in a cafe, um, <laughs> events, all of them, all the fun things. Um, but no, uh, so yeah, that was 10 years ago now. Um, and I got my job at Dina because my boss told me that I had a goofy smile and I waved. So yeah, <laughs> from humble beginnings. Excellent. Thank you, Perry. Yes. Joanna, what about you? So um, I touched a bit on that. Basically, yeah, for me, Foundry is my first uh, job after university. So what was key to get me started in my career was the network and the people I met at the university. So I know like the university professors, 
the supervisors, they were all super keen. They, they have, they know people, for instance, in Dublin, around Dublin, working in different areas of technology. And in my case, my thesis supervisor, Alisha Smolik, was really like very important. And he actually introduced me to Dan Ring, which is the head of research here at Foundry. So it was my first point of contact with Foundry. And I had an interview with Dan and it just like went, you know, it just rolled nicely after that but that was very important for me it was the people I met and the mm. network from university nice yeah that's great definitely networking is important and it's good you had so many good like advisors and you know supporting you in that mm. what about you Anna so for me it's uh, probably was quite a, a practical uh, decision there I based it uh, so I always enjoyed more math and physics at school and uh, I was better at that, at that. And a, and a tech industry was started growing in Armenia and it was booming and expanding. And the rumor had it that there are lots of uh, nice opportunities and interesting work and also uh, a nice compensation. So um, that played a role as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, that got me uh, thinking about a career in tech industry. And mm -hmm. I am I'm happy that after many years working uh, with software engineering, I have never regretted uh, choosing this career. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. And I think, I mean, you know, I, along the way, I think we all, we all have people who, you know, helped us out and helped you get that first step. I think Joanna, you know, already talked about the role for advisors, you know, at university and the, the connections through there. Um, I guess for you, Anna, was there anyone like that, that, that um, helped you? Yes. So uh, the first post, so we have a family member who is a very successful scientist and, and a good inspiration. But in addition to that, he also, uh, to that, he also offered financial help to all kids in family mm -hmm. who uh, wanted uh, to go into higher education. Uh, so and at the time, that was actually a really good uh, help and essential. And that basically was my first boost to get started. Mm -hmm. Really grateful for that. Oh, excellent. And what about you, Perry, who helped? Uh helps you along the way? I think for me, it was um, a series of bosses that just sort of believed in me and believed that I could do things that I didn't even know I could do. Um, like when I opened the cafe at Dineg without any, I mean, I worked in a cafe. Sure, that was my priority, <laughs> I worked in a cafe. And now I'm responsible for staffing it and getting all the products and buying the coffee machine. And, and that was an amazing opportunity. Um, and also, um, uh, Graham Jack at Dinek, he I, after facilities, I became a PA and it was working with Graham, who was a CTO, where I really got interested in technology and he could see that I was interested and, and let me get more involved. And so it was him that was really instrumental in pushing me to be a project manager. So, yeah, bosses, good bosses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I also love that you, you know, started that cafe. It is amazing coffee still. <laughs> <laughs> one pound. One pound. I hope it's still a pound. It was a pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Um, yeah, I think next it would be good to kind of think about about the present and um, you know what do you find inspiring you know in your career and in, in the job that you do at Foundry. How about we start with Anna for this one? Um, so, like I said, when I joined Foundry. Um, Overall, in, in a tech industry, I still I really love the fact that um, there's, even though you have been in here for many years, there's still a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. And as, as it comes about Foundry, um, yes, it was interesting discovering the new industry. And I actually had no idea how much work goes uh, into all my favorite movies and uh, TV series. And that was a very eye-opening experience. And... I now see how great the people are who are behind the scenes, who make all these uh, wonderful things happen. And it feels great to be part of the team that uh, just makes Nuke, that makes the software that actually enables all these uh, great people to make, uh, to, to do their work. And, and here we see the magic on, on our screens. So it's great to be part of that. Oh, awesome, I totally agree. Um, what about for you, Joanna? Yeah, yeah. So I, I really agree on that. Like, I absolutely love feeling that my work is close to the artist and the VFX studios. I know that every time there is a movie out there and we hear about the story of how new Katana or Modo was used because 
like so many movies use this technology. Like I just feel very proud to, to be working at Foundry or to be working in this industry because we are participating in that. And it just also goes together the fact that it feels like you already you have an impact. Like I know for me it was important to to work somewhere where I feel I had a direct impact and I could see output. And here we are talking with people from VFX studios. So we are directly talking with the people who are using the technology. And for me, this was really important, the idea that there was a direct feedback. Like I know in academy it's very typical, maybe after a master, for instance, in like science or computer science to maybe go for a PhD and I knew I wanted to directly after a master start my journey to something that had a direct impact with within the industry. Definitely I understand that too but like that trade-off between education versus impact. Um, what about for you Perry? I mean it's much the same people's passion um, is so inspiring and also just the breadth of what people know and how much I have to learn from them and um it, it yeah it just keeps you going it's there's so much to learn and people want to share their knowledge with you as well which is so important um and inspiring <laughs> <laughs> excellent I totally agree I think it's wonderful about this industry and foundry right the amount of um, willingness to, to share and to share knowledge and just the friendliness of everyone is really amazing all right. So for you all too, it'd be great to hear about any advice that you might give to those looking to, you know, get a start in your field. Um, how about Joanna? Do you want to start this one? Yeah. So I have a first advice, which is maybe something that you hear already, which is more like the technical advice is that if you want to go into, into tech, it's good if you are like doing your uh, university or, or and personal projects towards that. So like if you want to work in VFX, if you want to work in animation and let's say you're, you're an artist, do a reel, an animated reel. It's like it makes sense to also, if you want to work, you're a computer science person and you want to work for VFX, it's great if you do your master thesis on something like video segmentation, video deblurring, mm -hmm. this kind of directly usable tech, because it means that you already will have some understanding of uh, the media and um, what, what you can add in, in the industry. So I think that's, that's the first one. And then the other one, which is more the people one, is that it's important to remember that people are hiring people as much as they are hiring skills. I really think it's super important. And uh, for instance, I think it's so important to show that you're eager to learn new things. Like if you're someone that is really eager to learn, but you're lacking some skills in other area, you're also more likely to be taken as a job because you're gonna learn fast and you want to learn. So showing the motivation and the motivation for learning is I think a big part of getting started in the industry. Yeah. Absolutely. How about for you, Anna, any advice for, for those that are, you know, aspiring to be software engineers? Yeah, I actually quite, quite similar to what Joanna said. It's uh, just to take all the learning opportunities that, that present themselves, whether it is a special learning programs that the companies may offer, or whether it's uh, taking projects outside of your comfort zone. Um, if there is an opportunity to work on something that you may not have the background on or you, you think you might be lacking some skills, still uh, try to take it, try to learn, try to absorb as much as you can, because even if it might be uncomfortable to, to begin with, at the end of it, you'll have your like, comfort zone quite expanded. And then you can go and like uh, more and more and take on more roles. And it's good to, yeah, to just have expand your comfort zone, expand your knowledge base. And uh, yeah, just don't shy away from something you don't know. Uh, try to learn and try to be productive on a yeah. new thing as well. And, and that's so true because like if you learn like different areas, as you say, then your career can like organically just evolve mm. towards something different, which is which is great as well. Yes, and mm -hmm. more choices for you if, if you have if you're familiar with many different parts of the work, then you have more choices and you can maybe choose something that's closer to you. Mm, yeah, that's totally very true. Like that the branching ability is really important. Um, what about for you, Perry? I mean you have a bit of a different background, right? Coming from a, a non yeah, non-technical background and non-technical roles. Like any advice to those 
for people with your background coming into this industry? Yeah, I would say don't feel like, you know, if you don't have the technical background, that doesn't mean that you can't get involved in tech. As long as you're interested and you care, uh, that they really are the top two things and the other stuff will follow. So um, just get in there, stay smiling, wave, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and um, yeah, get your foot in the door and the rest will sort of follow. Um, and yeah, stay hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I think that's great because it's, um, yeah, it, it's in the willingness to learn, right? The, like you said, care, right? Caring about the work and being motivated to, to make a difference will, will take you the furthest, whatever your background is. Oh, that's all lovely, guys. Um, all right, so to round us off, one last question. What's your favorite thing about your job? How about Anna? You, let's let you take this one. Uh, sure. Uh, so, we have already uh, covered some of this, as, as I said uh, before, even, even after many years working as in different positions at software engineering, there's still so many new industries, so many new technologies to discover. So you will never run short of new things to learn and to, uh, to expand your comfort zone, as I mentioned. So, and uh, Foundry being a good example, uh, being a new industry and uh, really exciting to, to get to know the industry. So that's, and probably I would also add that um, also the people, uh, collaborative environment, teamwork that this uh, work allows. So yeah, uh, two of my favorite things. Ah, wonderful. What about for you, Perry? Um, my favorite thing is that my curiosity is really encouraged and I'm encouraged to go out there and ask questions and no question is wrong ever. You know, it's, it's always, there's always value in asking questions and I like that because that's the way that I work anyway and um, I love that that's encouraged at Foundry and it makes me feel like I'm in a safe space. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent that's very good to hear. <laughs> what about for you Joanna? Yeah just on that last point of, of Perry I really agree like I feel that whatever your position is you're like really encouraged to give opinions, ideas on new feature that you could go in Nuke or things like that. And that's amazing because it just creates a space where everybody feel comfortable and also feel like they are contributing. And I think when you feel like you're contributing, you're also working harder. So that's that's really, really nice. And then for me, the, I mean, the favorite things are like probably the, the diversity of work, the people and the environment. So I know that I really like, I mean, I'm working in research and I really love the fact that I'm working on the state of the art technology, but at the same time I'm seeing of like the ways that we can add them in like an actual product, which is like new for instance. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of working on implementation research. And then there is also like development and learning so many new things as Anna was saying as well. And that's, that's really great. And I think that, I mean, I know that I, I was really happy with uh, when I started to see how the people were like, I think everybody was very inspired, everybody wanted to contribute. And let's be honest, when you're in a team where everybody wants to create, then it's also really motivating for you. So that's something great like that not just makes you wake up in the morning and think, well, I'm happy to be working on that today. I agree. I think the Foundry team is really amazing for that sense of like, inclusivity of ideas and viewpoints and always, always working to make things better. Really, yeah, I think that's really key to what we do here. All right, thank you guys so much for taking the time, Anna, Joanna, and Perry, to tell us a little bit about your background and what inspires you. And hopefully this was helpful for some of the audience who might be interested in pursuing, you know, any of these careers or might be currently, you know, in, in these roles at a different stage in their career. So thank you so much for taking the time and we hope that everyone out there checks out the other videos in this series with the other teams at Foundry. Thanks, Thanks you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.